Good morning and welcome back to my channel and morning devotions. My name is Maggie. If this is your first time stopping by, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. Happy birthday, America, and happy Independence Day to everyone else. I hope you're going to have a wonderful time with your families today. I'm in my garden again, and you can see my beautiful gladiola. That's a rich, dark pink, and I'm so thrilled to see it. And then there's some red mandevillas. Oh, I just love being out here. You're going to get a fresh face me today. So, <laughs> um, got big plans for family later on. It's such a great, oh, such a great day. Let's see. Our opening scripture comes from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. Nothing between us and God, our faces shining with the brightness of his face, and so we are transfigured. It's wonderful. Of course, our devotions are coming from Joanna Weaver's book. And let's hear the continuation of the story of the woman who um, was making the presentation about what God wanted to do in her life. Okay. Previously, it said, in her feet, the woman pauses. At first, they began to walk, then run, skip, leap, and dance with joy, for finally she had a reason to live, a master to follow, a path that he prepared specifically for her. The burden of her sins he took, the woman on stage says, her voice becoming stronger and sounding younger. Her posture straightens as she drapes her things over the cross on the platform behind her. Her heart of stone was transformed into a new, vital, living heart. With trembling hands, she lifts the small, imaginary heart heavenward, receiving a large, beating one in exchange. With her face uplifted, her eyes filled with wonder, the woman pantomimes the act of placing the new heart inside her chest. Create in me a clean heart, O God, she whispers, and renew a right spirit within me, Psalm 51.10. The words are soft, pleading, and thankful as they drift across the quiet auditorium. The moment is holy as David's prayer echoes through each one of us. Thank you for hearing my tale, the woman says finally. Her voice is low and tender as she unbuttons her coat. For as you see, I am the butterfly. She sheds the cloak, revealing a splendid purple leotard with flowing, multicolored wings sparkling and shimmering in the morning light the costume is beautiful exquisite with arms extended the woman exits reborn floating dancing skipping leaving all of her earthly garments behind inviting each one of us to do the same new lives for old that's what jesus offers warm hearts for cold and all for the price of being teachable as I've surrendered my life to Jesus' teaching, even his rebukes, I've learned to value, I've learned the value of God's tender discipline. So don't be afraid to shed the familiarity of old patterns and old clothes. Jesus, remember, came to make all things new. So hear him and obey. Receive his discipline and then get ready to fly. I can say truly, nobody likes being disciplined or corrected, but the Lord's correction is so loving and it's so intentional because it's not condemning, it's corrective. It is shifting things. And as you are made aware of the mistakes you've made, the regret that you feel, the agony you feel in your soul for missing it is a memorable feeling that you never want to go back to it. Submit yourself to the Lord's correction if it's necessary. If you and, and just ask the Lord, do I need correction? Show me. He loves you. He disciplines those whom he loves. He corrects those whom he loves because he wants you to receive the fullness of the blessing he intended for you. The enemy will condemn you. The enemy will point out and remind you of every mistake you've ever made. Every sin you've ever committed, he will accuse you. He will bring it up and accuse you over and over and over again. And we can't get away from that. Especially when we give our heart to Christ, we, are still, we still feel the condemnation from the accuser who tells you you're worthless, you're dirty, look what you did, look what you did, look at the people you've hurt, look at the things you've done, look at the destruction. He'll, he'll do that. Shed that 
take that off, shake it off because God doesn't remember it any longer. Ask him as you receive that correction and get ready to fly. Our, reflecting, our reflection scripture comes from 2 Corinthians. I love God's word. I need to be more consistent myself with reading and studying it. Chapter 3, 2 Corinthians 3, beginning in verse 16 through 18. But whenever someone turns to the Lord, the veil is taken away. There's a veil that covers us. So when you come to the Lord, you turn to the Lord, the veil is taken away. For the Lord is the Spirit. And wherever the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. How appropriate for today. So all of us who have had that veil removed can see and reflect the glory of the Lord. And the Lord, who is the Spirit, makes us more and more like Him as we are changed into His glorious image. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. That is the scripture on my perpetual calendar today, and it is the scripture in this devotion today. Now, describe the freedom and transformation available through the New Covenant. The New Covenant is the sacrifice that Christ made for us, that we no longer have to go through a priest, we can go directly to Him. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Receive that freedom today, freedom from the things that have bound you in the past, freedom from old habits, freedom from carrying your, the old image of yourself. Let the Lord transform you into the image He has for you. As we are made into His image, as His perfect work is perfected in us, we are to be His hands and feet to the lost, to the, to the dying, to the wounded. We are to be that light. We are to be salt. So many different things he says in his word. And it's to bring life. It's to give life. It's to preserve life. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I give you glory and honor for your word. I thank you for this wonderful nation. I thank you, Lord, for all that you are doing in this nation right now at this very moment to transform it, Father God, to renew it, to make it righteous, Father God, to remove wicked to remove the, the wicked and to remove wickedness, Father, and raise up this nation. Remember your covenant with our founding fathers. Bless us today on this wonderful day, but also, Lord, in our own personal lives, Father. We are asking you to transform us, to help us to see and to hear what we need to see and to hear, to lay down those things, oh God, that have been a burden to us, just as this story describes, Father that we can emerge changed and transformed in your image, O oh God, and free from the burden, Father God, that we carried. I thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank you so much for spending a little time with me today. If this has blessed you, I hope you decide to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. God bless you. Have a happy forum, and bye until next time.